really big. We just got a VIP tour to go in the cockpit. Yeah, let's see how big it is. Yeah, see it's over there. So is this plane bigger than like the A380? Yes. What did they tell us? It's a, is it, it, it is it? It has the biggest wingspan, but the A380 might be uh, maybe longer. Is it biggest wingspan of any plane ever built? Yep. How many engines? Eight. Yeah. few exceptions. This is exactly the way the flight deck was when this thing flew in 1947, right before I was born. Okay. The differences are, there's plexiglass here, that's not original, that was put in by Disney when they had it. We didn't have rope lighting. Fire marshal, see this pipe here, the fire marshal man is putting the speaker system inside the aircraft in case it's not fire. And then there's an air conditioning unit right over there we keep up here in case it gets hot up here in the summer. Mm. But otherwise, everything you see in here was here when the airplane flew. Now, you know what it's made out of? Wood. Wood. The aircraft is 95% wood. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, that's wood. That's wood. Okay. You see this here? This is, this, this is metal bracing that they use. But this one is metal. This is wood. Howard built this aircraft. Now understand that when they started design work on this airplane, the largest passenger cargo airplane we had was a DC-3. There's a DC-3 over here. Yeah. Take a good look at that because it went from that to this in one step. Mm. That ordinarily takes 20 to 25 years. They did it in five. Wow. Okay. Because the aircraft is so large, there were things that had to be developed for it that had never been done before. This was the first airplane that had hydraulic assist for the pilots. First airplane that had backup systems. First airplane that could actually back up on, on the, under its own power, you know, in the water. So, see that seat right there? Get up and see the engine. And let 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 Dad take a picture there. Right, that's where history was made. Right where you're seated. Mm -hmm. We'll see the video. Do you know who Howard Hughes was? Uh, not okay. really. Howard Hughes, when he was 18 years old, his dad died and he inherited the family business, which was a tool company. Oh. They made a lot of money. They, they had a drill bit that they bought the patent for. And they leased out those drill bits for a lot of money because that, at the time, was the only drill bit that could drill through solid rock. Oh. Okay? So if you wanted to drill for oil or water, you had to lease one of their tool bits at a real steep price. Yeah. So he took the company and expanded it beyond that. And he had an aviation company that designed and built airplanes. He had a company that made movies. Um, he had the tool company. The empty weight of the aircraft is only 280,000 pounds. Okay. Now, Here's the deal though. 
plane weighs 280,000 pounds. The fuel, 14,500 gallons, is going to weigh in at around 94,000 pounds. That's a secondary fuel tank. Oh. The primary fuel tanks are down in the bottom of the airplane. Oh. They're down in the bottom of the airplane, there are 14 fuel tanks, 1,000 gallons each. And then that is another 270 gallons, and another 270 gallons in the other one, in the other wing. So you have just over 14,500 gallons of fuel. That would run the family car for quite some time. Hmm. Okay. All of this stuff here, the pipes and hoses and everything like that, are fuel lines, oil lines, hydraulic lines, and CO2 lines for the engine fire suppression system. The reason there's so much of it is because this is the air first airplane that ever had backup systems. Oh. Okay. For every system on board the aircraft, there are five backups. Which is why if you look up here, see all this wiring? Yeah. That's part of the 32 miles of copper wire they had on the airplane. Uh -huh. Now I always wonder, what's the full speed on this thing? Uh, they they engineered it for a speed of between 190 and 200 miles an hour. Uh -huh. I think there was a question about like how many pounds were the engines? The, the Pratt Whitney engine weighs 5,250 pounds. Uh -huh. The propeller assembly adds another 800 pounds. So each one of those engine and propeller combinations out there weighs in slightly more than three times. It weighs more than your family car.